Okay, so the Outbreak Prime has been released on Destiny 2, however, its name is now Outbreak Prime Perfected, and I decided that I was going to go get that weapon to make a tutorial for you guys. So, first you have to go to Titan, and the easiest way to do this is to do the Heroic Bad Neighbors mission. You're going to go along the mission when you first find the Shrieker, you're going to take a left after the door, and you're going to go into this little room, and you're going to pick up a little Fallen Transponder. Once you get the Fallen Transponder, there's going to be six nodes that you have to get, and there are four on Earth in the Lost Sectors, and there are two on Nessus. The first one is in the main Lost Sector on Earth, and this one is down right when you have to go get the boss, and you just go over to the left. The second one is in the Trost Lands, and you want to go to the Lost Sector directly under the bridge. You go through, and as you're going through, instead of taking a right to normally go to the boss, you're going to hop down, go to the left, and it's going to be near the purple tarps. Okay, so the next one you want to get is in Widow's Walk. This one's really simple. You go directly to the chest, you just go on the left, and you hop right up behind it, and it's going to be just chilling right there for you. Okay, so as you're going through this lost sector, you're going to see a container chilling on the edge, and you're just gonna glide your happy self over there on your way to get your outbreak. It's right there on the edge near the rock, and it kind of took me a second to notice this, but you're just gonna hop on in and grab it because it's blocked from the other side. Alright, so the last transponder you need to complete this little part, there's a little more after this, so don't worry. Uh, there's a little wall on the right, if you saw that, you're going to hop down here. Um, I'm pretty stupid, so I was looking around. You're just going to hop up, and it's right there, so now you're done with this part. Okay, so now that you've done this, you're going to notice there's just a bunch of letters and numbers, and you're really confused. Go to the farm. Just trust me when I say go to the farm, it's really random. But, when you go here, you're going to take a right, immediately off spawn, and if you're not blind and dumb like me, you're going to go left, immediately and not right, because remember, I said I'm blind, and you're just going to keep going right, and eventually you're going to see a big shadow, remember I'm blind, you're going to see a big shadow on the wall, this is the captain that you saved all that time ago, well, hopefully you did, and you're not a terrible person, when you start this up, it's going to start a 690 mission, which you should do with friends, it has no modifiers, but most enemies have elemental shields, I'll show you that now. Okay, so keep in mind this is 590, so the enemies are basically a match game with you and they all have shields. There are many tanks and enemies throughout this entire fight, and this isn't the only part of the mission. This is actually a really long process to get through this. Not hard, not, you know, tedious, obviously, but it will take you a minute. Hopefully you have competent teammates. Mine was just lagging behind everyone, so he was a little slow, but... My main advice to you would be focus the tanks down first because they will just be a pain in your ass the whole time. There are going to be two to three big servitors that will spawn. Kill them or else they will protect the shanks that will melt you. And once you kill the boss, even you know how much time you have left, you have to kill all remaining, remaining adds with the boss as well. So, you know, we had 30 seconds left once and didn't know we had to kill the adds and we failed. So, uh, you know, make sure you're... 
like I said, focusing the tanks, adds. You definitely want clearing supers. Uh, we had oh, damn. Uh, Sunbreaker. I was Dawnblade <laughs> with Bottom Tree, <laughs> and we had a Sentinel Shield. So we had, you know, Melting Port. Yotun is really good for this because the burn effect melts bosses. Not so much tanks, but, you know, the bosses themselves. Um, just, you know, make sure you're being aware of your surroundings, unlike me here. Uh, once you get your outbreak, though, I, I will really show you how that looks. Uh, destroy turrets. Oh no, we're done, I think. The timer stopped. Yeah. Is this a bug? Yay! Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I can finally die in peace now. <laughs> Okay, so you have your outbreak and you're wondering how it is. Well, let me tell you, from the get-go, this thing has barely any recoil on console, let alone PC. And when you kill people, as in D1, it releases a bunch of nanites. However, the thing they changed about it is when you're shooting targets multiple times, it doesn't spawn nanites based on you shooting them. What it does is, the more times you have shot them, the more damage you do because the nanites attach to them. So, you know, this also applies to teammates nanites, so team shotting with this thing is insane. So, you know, just keep that in mind, and uh, if people are grouped up, you know, when you get a headshot precision kill, you get outlaw, the nanites spawn, and there's 10 of them that do 9 damage uh, piece, so that's 90 damage right there if all hit. So... I don't know really you know what I think about this I really like that they brought the outbreak back and it's been it was one of my favorite weapons in D1 and I, I wanted it to come back for the absolute longest like I was hoping and then you know someone leaked that there was a catalyst and people just got the searching and data miners found that it was in the game and people just started testing random things seeing what happened and someone eventually found the transponders so this isn't exactly i did this all in one day so i wouldn't exactly say it's like a super long tedious quest but i feel like probably doing the um the mission is uh is the hardest thing it's not a long quest not definitely not as long as destiny one was it's actually pretty easy to get when you think about it uh there is an ornament you have to do heroic which is a pain in the butt and or a catalyst excuse me there's a catalyst there are actually two ornaments we have to buy them with silver but you know i'm not about that life um i really hope you guys enjoy your um your outbreak i really hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh i'm gonna leave you with the rest of this crucible game i think i went like 22 and 10 or something nothing too insane but the weapon is really good Believe me, and uh, if it got nerfed, I wouldn't even be surprised, because like I said, this thing's stability is just insane for a, a pulse rifle that has a .75 time to kill base stats. That's not talking with catalyst, that's not talking with team shotting. This is if uh, you're hitting um, all headshots, you know, medium-ish range, medium-close, .75 to kill. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video, and my name is Brian, I will see you guys later.